Isaiah chapter 32 See, a king will reign in righteousness, and rulers will rule with justice. Each one will be like a shelter from the wind, and a refuge from the storm, like streams of water in the desert, and the shadow of a great rock in a thirsty land. Then the eyes of those who see will no longer be closed, and the ears of those who hear will listen. The fearful heart will know and understand, and the stammering tongue will be fluent and clear. No longer will the fool be called noble, nor the scoundrel be highly respected. For fools speak folly, their hearts are bent on evil, they practice ungodliness and spread error concerning the Lord. The hungry they leave empty, and from the thirsty they withhold water. Scoundrels use wicked methods. They make up evil schemes to destroy the poor with lies, even when the plea of the needy is just. But the noble make noble plans, and by noble deeds they stand. You women who are so complacent, rise up and listen to me. You daughters who feel secure, hear what I have to say. In little more than a year, you who feel secure will tremble. The grape harvest will fail, and the harvest of fruit will not come. Tremble, you complacent women. Shudder, you daughters who feel secure. Strip off your fine clothes and wrap yourself in rags. Beat your breasts for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vines, and for the land of my people. A land overgrown with thorns and briars, Yes, mourn for all houses of merriment and for this city of revelry. The fortress will be abandoned, the noisy city deserted. Citadel and watchtower will become a wasteland forever, the delight of donkeys, a pasture for flocks, till the spirit is poured on us from on high and the desert becomes a fertile field and the fertile field seems like a forest. The Lord's justice will dwell in the desert, his righteousness live in the fertile field. The fruit of that righteousness will be peace. Its effect will be quietness and confidence forever. My people will live in peaceful dwelling places, in secure homes, in undisturbed places of rest. Though hail flattens the forest and the city is leveled completely, how blessed you will be sowing your seed by every stream, and letting your cattle and donkeys range free. Isaiah chapter 33 Woe to you, destroyer, you who have not been destroyed. Woe to you, betrayer, you who have not been betrayed. When you stop destroying, you will be destroyed. When you stop betraying, you will be betrayed. Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. At the uproar of your army, the peoples flee. When you rise up, the nations scatter. Your plunder, O nations, is harvested as by young locusts. Like a swarm of locusts, people pounce on it. The Lord is exalted, for he dwells on high. He will fill Zion with his justice and righteousness. He will be the sure foundation for your times, a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure. Look, their brave men cry aloud in the streets. The envoys of peace weep bitterly. The highways are deserted. No travelers are on the roads. The treaty is broken, its witnesses are despised, no one is respected. The land dries up and wastes away, Lebanon is ashamed and withers, Sharon is like the Araba, and Bashan and Carmel drop their leaves. Now will I arise, says the Lord, now will I be exalted, now will I be lifted up. You conceive chaff, you give birth to straw. 
Your breath is a fire that consumes you. The peoples will be burned to ashes. Like cut thorn bushes, they will be set ablaze. You who are far away, hear what I have done. You who are near, acknowledge my power. The sinners in Zion are terrified. Trembling grips the godless. Who of us can dwell with the consuming fire? Who of us can dwell with everlasting burning? Those who walk righteously and speak what is right, who reject gain from extortion and keep their hands from accepting bribes, who stop their ears against plots of murder and shut their eyes against contemplating evil, they are the ones who will dwell on the heights, whose refuge will be the mountain fortress. Their bread will be supplied and water will not fail them. Your eyes will see the king in his beauty and view a land that stretches afar. In your thoughts you will ponder the former terror. Where is that chief officer? Where is the one who took the revenue? Where is the officer in charge of the towers? You will see those arrogant people no more. People whose speech is obscure, whose language is strange and incomprehensible. Look on Zion, the city of our festivals. Your eyes will see Jerusalem, a peaceful abode, a tent that will not be moved. Its stakes will never be pulled up, nor any of its ropes broken. There the Lord will be our Mighty One. It will be like a place of broad rivers and streams, no galley with oars will ride them, no mighty ship will sail them. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king. It is he who will save us. Your rigging hangs loose, the mast is not held secure, the sail is not spread. Then an abundance of spoils will be divided, and even the lame will carry off plunder. No one living in Zion will say, I am ill, and the sins of those who dwell there will be forgiven. Psalm 71 In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb, I will ever praise you. I have become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Do not cast me away when I am old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. For my enemies speak against me. Those who wait to kill me conspire together. They say, God has forsaken him. Pursue him and seize him, for no one will rescue him. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly, God, to help me. May my accusers perish in shame. May those who want to harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. As for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous deeds, of your saving acts, all day long, though I know not how to relate them all. I will come and proclaim your mighty acts, Sovereign Lord. I will proclaim your righteous deeds, yours alone. Since my youth, God, you have taught me, and to this day I declare your marvellous deeds. Even when I am old and grey, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who are to come. 
Your righteousness, God, reaches to the heavens, you who have done great things. Who is like you, God? Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. From the depths of the earth you will again bring me up. You will increase my honor and comfort me once more. I will praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, my God. I will sing praise to you with the lyre, Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praise to you, I whom you have delivered. My tongue will tell of your righteous acts all day long, for those who wanted to harm me have been put to shame and confusion. Proverbs chapter 20 Wine is a mocker and beer a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. A king's wrath strikes terror like the roar of a lion. Those who anger him forfeit their lives. It is to one's honour to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Sluggards do not plough in season, so at harvest time they look but find nothing. The purposes of a person's heart are deep waters but one who has insight draws them out. Many claim to have unfailing love, but a faithful person who can find. The righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. When a king sits on his throne to judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have kept my heart pure, I am clean and without sin? Differing weights and differing measures, the Lord detests them both. Even small children are known by their actions, so is their conduct really pure and upright? Ears that hear and eyes that see, the Lord has made them both. Do not love sleep, or you will grow poor. Stay awake, and you will have food to spare. It's no good, it's no good, says the buyer then goes off and boasts about the purchase. Gold there is, and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are a rare jewel. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. Hold it in pledge if it is done for an outsider. Food gained by fraud tastes sweet, but one ends up with a mouth full of gravel. Plans are established by seeking advice, so if you wage war, obtain guidance. A gossip betrays a confidence, so avoid anyone who talks too much. If someone curses their father or mother, their lamp will be snuffed out in pitch darkness. An inheritance claimed too soon will not be blessed at the end. Do not say, I'll pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord, and he will avenge you. The Lord detests differing weights, and dishonest scales do not please him. A person's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand their own way? It is a trap to dedicate something rashly, and only later to consider one's vows. A wise king winnows out the wicked. He drives the threshing wheel over them. The human spirit is the lamp of the Lord that sheds light on one's inmost being. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe. Through love his throne is made secure. The glory of young men is their strength, grey hair the splendour of the old. Blows and wounds scrub away evil, and beatings purge the inmost being. 